guys. I told you I'd get a moto vlog going. You're going to see the ride through Beloit, southern Wisconsin right now up in the corner. But I'm at the site of the big hill. Yes, this is in 1939 and 40. They used to have hill climbs. Check this out, man. Holy cow, can you imagine taking a freaking scooter up this thing? This thing's freaking huge. Anyway, wanted to talk a little bit about Hollywood, and I'm not talking about me, baby. I'm talking about how Hollywood portrays bikers and motorcycle club members. It's actually kind of ridiculous. That's a good view of that right there. <laughs> Too bad you can't see me then. Uh, but shows we all know. Mayans, Sons of Anarchy. They even had uh, a series that came out of Australia. And I think it's real unfortunate that the media doesn't cover bikers and clubs as it should. Yeah, there have been a couple documentaries and all that stuff that tries to get it right, but not so much uh, the rest of the time. And I think that's what's really screwing up the, the lifestyle, if you will. You got all these kids that come in thinking, well, that's the way it is. You know, I want to get a patch. When really, that's the furthest from the truth. That stuff that they're showing has nothing to do with the scene. Am I saying that some of that stuff might not happen? Or might happen, whatever you want to say? Yeah, it happens. But it's only a small selected group that does that type of stuff. Most of one percenters, most motorcycle clubs, most bikers, they go to work every morning. They raise kids. They raise grandkids. They do everything any normal citizen of this country does. So, when you see bikers portrayed as you do on TV and more specifically TV series or movies it's like man where are you guys getting your information from I get it you want to have ratings and one of the biggest things that say Kurt Sutter got from Sons of Anarchy he got huge freaking ratings man that was one of the number one shows on cable at the time so what do they do when they see the ratings? They expound on that show. Now you got Mayans, and I heard that they're trying to get the first nine, but I don't know because Kurt Sutter ain't in charge of that anymore. But what that did was bring in a totally different type of person within the lifestyle. You got a lot of bangers that came in saying, hey, wait a second, this is a step up from what we were doing when really it isn't. And then you had, as many would say, the wannabes come in. Which, hey, you know what? The way I think about it, away from that club stuff, is if you want to ride, you want to get on two wheels, hey, you're more than welcome to me, man. You know, there ain't no more stereotypes like there used to be. You know, I talk about it all the time. People always wanted Harleys. Well, nowadays it's like, man, everybody wants something other than a Harley. You know, it was funny. Uh, I was talking to a youngster. It had to be like 25 years old. And he was saying, you know, I got this and that. And he asked me what I got. And I told him a fat boy in a boulevard. There she is right there anyway, the boulevard. You know, I take that one out more than I do the fat boy. And again, I just like the ride better. But he called the Harley a freaking grandpa's bike. And I'm sitting here thinking, damn, that's what they really think about us now? <laughs> uh, 
and you can tell the different generations of bikers because they dress different. You know, a lot of young guys, they w they don't even wear jeans, man. They go around in uh, workout sweats, and I can't uh, say I blame them much because that's what I do a lot. Uh, workout sweats and freaking uh, gym shoes and stuff because I'm just more comfortable. I don't buy into that. You have to wear boots and all that stuff. I like looking good, man. Sorry to say I'm not out there trying to look like this or that or trying to impress somebody or fit some. And you know what? We stereotype ourselves as well. You know, because like I just said, the older guys, hey, you got to wear boots or you got to do this or do that to be one of us. Well, ain't that stereotyping like uh, Hollywood does, making their movies and stuff? We stereotype our own selves, man. It don't even uh, extend to just that. It, ex it extends to... Okay, well, this guy wanted to get a club together, and next thing you know, they're a pop-up club. Uh, well, this is if they didn't follow the proper protocol. Uh, but who do we got to blame for that? Not only Hollywood, but ourselves, because we watch the shit. Now, Mayans, I haven't watched, uh, because I think it's a god-awful god series, man. I really do. I don't like it at all. I don't think it... Uh, represents what uh, the Latino part of the the lifestyle is all about in the club scene. I just think it's horseshit. Sons of Anarchy, I watched. But again, any normal person would say, hey, wait a second, this is just entertainment. This has nothing to do with real life. You know, just look at Jax Teller, man. The dude was a serial killer. You really think ATF or FBI wouldn't have caught up with these guys? So, it's entertainment. But, again, we're at fault for watching the damn shit because we give them uh, all the TV ratings there are. You know, nothing sells better than biker, man. The lifestyle, the whole nine yards. But what's really concerning is the way news is portraying bikers. Man, they got bikers, uh, they're comparing them to militias now. Uh, because they're taking on all these radicals and they're just blowing everything out of proportion you know not all bikers are part of bikers for trump man uh personally you know do what you got to do i don't support that because of who chris cox is and you find a lot of guys in that stuff that is uh less uh than reputable if you uh ask me because chris cox he didn't get a bike until after everybody paid for it after you sold all those shirts hey man he had a racket going there's you can make money if you're in the biker stuff you're gonna find a lot of people that are gonna want to get in on the action and it's sad it really is. They'll start making t-shirts up, selling t-shirts, hats, or some gimmick on Facebook. And it really destroys everything. And again, it brings in people that are, you're like, man, are you serious? <laughs> but the portrayal, and if you got, you know, I got a lot of followers that don't even ride. No, that what they're pushing ain't the truth, man. Again, a lot of guys are hard-working people. We're not out there getting in shootouts. We're not in there getting bar fights all the time. We're not out there raping and pillaging as they would uh, want you to believe. So, I'd have to say Hollywood's portrayal of uh, the biker scene and the biker life is nothing but fantasy. And I know a lot of people are going to agree with that. It's pure freaking fantasy, man. So, let me know what you guys think. I told you guys I do some different videos, different uh, moto vlog stuff. Uh, it's an awesome ride today, man. Awesome ride on the, the boulevard. And I really like this freaking hill, man. I can't imagine. This thing's got to be 200 feet up, at least. You know, just looking at the background with uh, the river, that's the Rock River freaking insane man them guys that do hill climbs have freaking cojones they got bigger cojones than i'd ever freaking imagine so you know 
check out the ride. You know, you've been seeing a little bit out of it. You know, when you see me going down uh, the hill, you're going to see just how freaking high this thing really is. So, don't forget to subscribe. Pow rock on, boys and girls. Yo Show is now available on Spotify and all major platforms, including iHeartRadio, iTunes, Stitcher, and more. Don't forget to become a subscriber on any one of these platforms so you can be notified right away when our weekly episode is uploaded so you never miss an episode. Hi, this is James Hollywood Machikari. Join our YouTube channel and get Motorcycle Madhouse and tons of videos related to the bikers. Join now by subscribing for free and become part of the crowd today. Always free and always entertaining. Don't forget to visit us at www.harleyliberty.com for your daily biker news. Rock on!